Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Honeysuckle and as you can see she has seen some things in her life. This is how she came to me. Oh, she's looking gorgeous. So of course we're going to start off by uh, washing her. Not that that helped much. Usually I just use a toothbrush, some hot water, and I like to use the heavy duty Dawn. Um, magic eraser. And all this stuff that looks like dirt, I don't know what it is, but it's not coming off. It's not at all erasing, it's not brushing off. Nothing's coming off. So, this is her after her washing, still just as crazy as she was before. So now we're going to get out the 48 volume developer, and we're going to liberally paint that all over her. I will say, if you use this or any other bleaching product on a pony, make sure um, that you are using your best judgment. So, Pink Pony is usually fine. I've never had a problem with Pink Ponies. I'll even go over their cutie marks. Never had a problem with it. Now, Pink is probably the second most likely to fade. As you know, this pony should have pink hair. We'll fix that a little later. She has what we call fading pink hair. But here she is after that. And you can see all that brown stuff has come off. But this little red mark, sometimes I have red marks and I don't know what it is. It looks like paint, but it's not paint. It doesn't wash off. It, you can't fade it off. You can't bleach it off. So I literally got out my glass nail file and filed it off. So after working on that for what felt like way too long, it did come off. But we have to take care of this hair next. And the big thing is, is it's fading pink, which means it should be pink, but it's not. So we're going to re-dye it. We're going to re-pink it, as they say. Here I'm just putting some boiling hot water into a small dish. And this does not take much at all of this dye. This is the powdered dye of Rit dye, and this is in the shade Petal Pink. I'm gonna just put a little bit of um, pink dye in there into this really hot water. I also have a tiny bit of vinegar and it really doesn't take long. I'm not even gonna speed up this portion of the video because it's a really quick process. I personally would have other ponies on hand if you have any that also need to be repinked because why not? It's not going to take all the dye. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's an easy thing to do. But do make sure, obviously, that you're wearing some gloves. Otherwise, your hands will be pink. And have a paper towel ready and nearby.
or the shade that we want, one quick dip should do it. Now I do recommend to do this before you do any kind of conditioning for the hair because that's just not helpful for dyeing. Um, I have used a another toothbrush just to get the roots because sometimes right next to the pony's head or right next to its body, it's hard to get that colored. Just take some of that in there. I wouldn't overdo it unless you want a darker color just because these ponies are pink and not like a red, but you can get close to a red with this dye, even though it's called petal pink, if you leave it in too long or you give it too many times. And then I'm just gonna dry it off. I'll do the rest of her hair off camera. I did use the straightener on it at 250 degrees. It's a little bit higher than boiling. People like to boil wash them, but I feel the straightener works better. And then I also got some replacement wings from Starlight Studio Stuff on Etsy. And here's how she looks in the end. Hope you had fun and learned a little bit about making some ponies better today. I'll see you next time.